so the car from the Alpina has come to pick us up. It is indeed a Tesla. <laughs> Check this out. Ooh, it looks like a Stormtrooper's car. It's amazing. And it matches my outfit, so we're all good. So we've just been picked up in this most space age Tesla en route to the Alpina. Um, I'd just like to point out a few things. I match the seats. <laughs> also, check out the front here. The glass windows that look right out to the top. How fabulous is that? And then I think that might be the biggest sat nav I've ever seen in my life. Or at least you won't get lost. <laughs> How beautiful this walkway is. Here's our space age Tesla. And this is the entrance to the Alpina Hotel. It's beautiful. Hello. Thank you very much. This is the hotel room that Madonna stayed on in her recent trip and wow is this fabulous. Come with me, I want to show you everything. So first we've got a little guest room over here which is very cute. She didn't stay in this one though, I think she had guests here. We've got a little guest bathroom but then oh my goodness check out this beautiful living room. So we've got huge dining table over here, there's panoramic views outside, it's dark at the moment so you can't actually see, but we've got big roaring log fire over here which is stunning, and all these gorgeous um, old Swiss reclaimed furnishings which are, they're just stunning aren't they, beautiful. Come through. Right, here is the kitchen. We've been told that actually the celebrity guests who stay in here rarely go in the kitchen because they have butler and staff who come in through the other entrance who so don't even need to see them, which is brilliant. This is the master room. Interestingly, this isn't the room that Madonna stayed in, but look how stunning this is. It's got a huge, look, this TV is amazing. Huge log fire here. You just push a button, the fire comes on. We've got this fabulous walk-in wardrobe, which her stylist was in charge of. And then this is a beautiful master bathroom. This is so stunning in here with marble flooring, amazing jacuzzi style bathroom, bathtub, sorry, and the walk-in um, walk shower here. But let's go upstairs, because that's where the real magic happens. Ta-da! The chill-out room. So this is basically just an amazing, zen, gorgeous space with a beautiful roaring fire, which is stunning. If you come into this bit, we've got huge shower head here with a steam room and sauna. And then if you go out here, which we're not going to do, I, I might show you this tomorrow, but there's a big jacuzzi there with amazing views out all over Gestad, which is stunning. This is the personal gym, which is so cool. And through there, there's actually a personal massage room, so you can get a masseur to come in and soothe your aching skiing bones. And this is actually the room that Madonna stayed in. So they were quite intrigued that she picked this one, but it is really stunning. And it's got this huge ceiling with beams running all the way across. But it's part of the top of the building at the Alpina. And then it has amazing views um, out through all over Gestad, but um, wow, this this is one incredible room. And actually, on that note, with regards to the uh, view, Madonna actually requested a special blackout blind. So there's actually three curtain rails here, and there's a special blackout blind which is just put in for her. So none of the other rooms have that. So that was one of her little riders, along with all the massage and the gym and and the kitchen and the fabulousness. Now this room is a proper A-lister's bedroom. So as you can see 
from the panda in the 3D glasses on my on my right here, we're actually entering into the cinema room here at the Alpina. And this little Titanic poster that we've got just at the entrance is signed by Leonardo DiCaprio because he stayed here lots of times. Um, and uh, I'm sure people have enjoyed a little viewing of Titanic. But look how beautiful this space is. Perfect for streaming your own Netflix uh, channels on here if you want to, or you can um, hire one of the fab movies that they show at the hotel. I think I'm going to go for Titanic tonight. So we're at the Japanese restaurant at the, at the Alpina, and this is a Michelin starred uh, treat from the special tasting menu tonight. And I've got this asparagus, <laughs> which looks delicious, and this is one of their specialities. This is a shrimp tempura. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> wow, so the sushi platter has arrived. That looks absolutely delicious. Charlie looks very happy. And Julio, our lovely waiter, is. Uh, what are you doing there? Freshly grated wasabi. Lovely. Ooh. Amazing. So, just in the spa at the Alpina, being shown around. Here's Charlie. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's Pick doing his French, practicing French. Um, we've got some lovely juice bar action going on here. Ginger and lemon, Ginger. herbal teas. And then let me take you through to this amazing swimming pool area. So I'm here at the Alpina in the treatment rooms and it's time for a massage. Okay, so I'm not kidding. That might be one of the best massages I've ever had. It was incredible. And what made it even lovelier is at the beginning and the end, she starts it with this Tibetan bowl, which I'm gonna try it now. I've not done it before, so it might be terrible. But she basically goes like this and then does this like Funny. Oh, didn't work, hang on. But it's lovely, really soothing and relaxing. So there wasn't too much snow down in Gestad, so we're heading up to Glacier 3000 now, which is up there. But first, we have to get a cable car. Yay! <laughs> Look how beautiful this is up here. Pristine white snow and the lifts going up and down. It's so gorgeous. And then that up there is the beginning of the walkway which we're going to go on. I'm going to show you in a minute. We've got to the top now. I don't know if you can see over here, but this bridge that's just along there, that is the highest bridge in the world that connects two peaks together. And we're about to go on a walk along it. This walkway that we're on now is absolutely spectacular. It's blue skies and sunshine. I need my sunglasses.
Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited about dinner this evening. So we're here at the Summit restaurant at the Alpina um, and it's their Swiss restaurant and we've got basically the most traditional uh, Swiss food that you can imagine. So we've got lots of lovely gherkins and sauerkraut and braised yumminess. Um, we've got the fondue which is cheese and they use mushroom in theirs as well. And you're supposed to get this little fork, pop it in, put it in bed and then do this. Turn it around, I'll eat it in a minute. And then my most favourite thing of all time, this is raclette. So if you can see they actually scrape the top of the cheese off and then you put it on the bread. Describe how it tastes. Okay, so we've just arrived into Gustard uh, town. We're going to be going on this gorgeous <laughs> kind of carriage ride with these beautiful, beautiful ladies. in Seinen, which is a nearby little village, and we're about to hit the Christmas markets, aren't we, Mum and Dad? Yes, we yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> so this is the old part of the hotel here, here at the Hermitage in Gestad, and uh, then if we come up have a look at this brand spanking new bar this is the Swarovski bar there's one million Swarovski crystals in that ceiling there how fabulous is that gorgeous So this morning, um, it's a little bit rainy out, so we're going to head to the spa, but they've left us these super cute little spa goodie bags with our towels. I've got the slippers on already, so it's time to get to the spa. Area. And look how beautiful these water baths are. And then you can go outside and they've got thermal baths outside as well. It's stunning. Oh, lovely. Oh, what are these flowers? So pretty. Right, guys. See you later. Oh. 
Peter, it's goodbye from Gestad. We've had the most amazing time. Thank you to the Hermitage and the amazing, beautiful uh, Alpina Hotel as well. Both of them are so lovely. Um, and yeah, it's just such a fabulous winter wonderland. So see you next time. Bye. <laughs>